I just wanted to say when I checked these coils the last time I didn't uh, I was actually pretty quick on the way when I watched the meter read I didn't wait till they all the way stops and it was brought to my attention but I'll show you what I did here I didn't have the exact specs on this coil but I think between four and a half and five and a half was good on these but I didn't look that up but I'm anyhow I'm going to show you but you can see it's between four and five on the uh, on the ohms. This is the uh, back one. And this is the front one. So I believe that's in range. It's close enough, I believe. So anyhow, we're going to go ahead and go from there. So that's how I determined these two coils were good. And I mean, they might, they might not be perfect, but they're, they're there. So I feel that they're enough to, to make this motor run. Okay. Loosen that. We're going to take this plate off. I want to look at these wires. I'll slide this clip off. Hold this on. And we just gotta slide this clip off. Now slide that off. I'm gonna slide that clip back on there so I don't lose it. There it is. I just wanted to see how much. Uh, room we had on these wires if that copper was good in these wires back but I see there's a gouge there but anyhow I was just curious to see how bad it was in there so let me bring this over and we'll look Let's look at this one. Let's start that. Okay, what I want to do here is I just want to clip this off and see where, if there's any good copper in there. Okay, let's see here. Let's just cut it off once and look at it. Well, there's some copper wire in there. But as mashed as it is right here. And you can see other than the fibers in there. That is good copper wire, or good wire there. But I don't know if there's enough there to cut it off, and by the time you'd put that on there, I don't know that you would have enough for your, your swing on this. I cut this wire off to uh, see if I could get some good wire up in there into the coil. I'm going to do that to both of them, so let's go ahead and do that. I still got this loose, so we just got to loosen this up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slip that right back through there where that cup is. Alright, there it is. Go ahead and slide this boot back on it. And I'm going to do the uh, and I'm going to do the other one the same way right here. I'm going to slide that in and get some fresh copper out there. Okay, we got that. So we'll snug this in back up. I slid enough wire up through there, so I've loosened that up. So let's snug that back up. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay. And we'll take this around. This goes around this way. Okay. And these are going to go in here. That's going to go like that. There's two little nuts, right? Notches right there to line this back up. And we put this back on. This kind of hooks just kind of it's got a hook right there, just hooks behind there and swings down just like that. And we put the bolt in there. So we snug that up, snug this up. Okay, snug this up. <clears throat> okay, turn this back over and we'll work on the top. As we're setting this back on there, we're going to open these points just a little bit just to get them down past onto the... So we don't bend them even though these are still the old points. There we go. Got that back down. Now you can see I've got these uh, spark plug wires quite long so we're going to go ahead and straighten those up some. Okay, we're going to cut them off. I'm going to probably cut them off about a quarter inch past that uh, grommet, so just to make sure we cut. Well, guess what? My cutters is, needs a lot to be desired. Okay, let's cut this side off. Get us. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. But you can see that is good wire in the end of there, so we've got good wire going to both sides now. We'll put our coils back on. Okay, I might have wanted to put these coils on before I did this, before I mounted that plate on there, but of course, you know, that plate ain't mounted. I ain't got the screws on it yet. Let's take it out the front. Got it too long. Too long. Let's trim that puppy. Okay, let's try it again. I made sure that my there's like a point in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Down in the down in there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little little point that slides right down the center of that wire. See it right there? All right, let's see if we can get that on there this time. And we did the other side the same way as we did this side. Just remember, see? The short one here, the short one here coming right out of this coil right close back by the carburetor. If you follow that, is the one labeled, labeled uh, top, or it says up on it, but top. And then the other one is obviously this one here is the bottom cylinder. As you can see in this ring underneath this is where this bolts down. And what I did is I run this screw and this screw down from the top and I'm going to try to line them up and catch the thread on this. I think if you get one side you'll be able to get the other. So that's my plan. We'll see how it goes. If we could see if we're lined up. Probably about there. And we got to don't forget to open the points. So let it drop down. Okay, 
Let's see. Let's see if we got it here. Darn, don't tell me we got that first try. <laughs> I don't believe it. Let's see if the other two go in. Tighten that up yet. We gotta set those for. <clears throat> we gotta line these up with the ends on this here. Those sides, we'll have to make sure we straight edge this. They have a ring you can put on there, but I don't have one. Okay. Let's go ahead and check from here to the end of our spark plugs and see what we've, or spark plug wires, and see if uh, what we got now that we've reseeded all that. Remember, this is the secondary winding that we're checking here. Remember, we said the, the top is the back one. Let's check the ground. Nothing. Well, hallelujah. We got connection. Both ends of these wires has corroded and bad. So both end was both these ends are corroded and bad. And I, one of the uh, viewers told me that it could just be rust, and so I cleaned them up in there some. But guess what? They still don't work. But thanks for the uh, tip. Let's go ahead and uh, fix this. All righty. Here's the top one. Here's the bottom one. As you can see, I had to cut both of them off to get good wire. All right. I, I was going to just throw some new wires on it, but I went up to town thinking I was just going to buy a couple feet of spark plug wire. And you can either buy them in a set or you can buy a single wire for almost $20. I thought I'm not doing that. and. I thought, if, I know I can order it offline, so we'll just go from here. Okay, let's see if we can uh, put the ends back on there and see what we got. Okay, I'll clean these up some. This just kind of barbs right through the side of the wire there. This is the bottom one, so let's squeeze that in there. Get the other one on. Here is the first one. Here goes the second one. Okay. I just want to let everybody know that the, I took this number off the side here. That's 6002B. And uh, when I researched that, that says this is a 1970 six horse, seven root fisherman. So that's that's where I got my info because I couldn't find the uh, tag on the uh, transom mount or something. So anyhow, I got it from there. Just as I thought, no thermostat and a homemade casket. Alrighty, let me get our parts list together. <laughs>